Hello. This video clip is very, very important because we are living in the midst of an excited time. Um, because what the Lord assures to his people, how he speaks through his servants to the world, he is faithful to fulfill all of them. It is not just our own words that we express during our Bible tour that we had last year, August, September 2021, um, visiting 31 states in 30 days. And uh, based on a vision, this was commissioned by the hub, DFW, and the leader, John Bunn, and myself, one of the leadership team members, and Jeff Willard, who is from Kingdom Courthouse, we three took a car and covered almost 9,000 miles in 30 days, starting from Grand Rapids. So the Lord had inspired us to go, depending on him, trusting on him, trusting on the Holy Spirit to speak to each and every state, every institution, every prayer group that we met all along our tour. And accordingly, Holy Spirit inspired us to proclaim the word. The things that were very important, one, <clears throat> we were to bring down our prayer against or proclaim the altar of man to come down and uh, pray, release, cooperate with the Holy Spirit and receive his unction for the building up of the altar of God. So every man's will should go away and God's will to be established in this nation, America. So one of the items or one of the many things or many places to visit during our trip was visiting all the Ivy League colleges, universities. So when we physically went there, drove in and looked at the present condition of the institution, in our natural mind and reasoning, we were a bit discouraged to see the secular reality existing there now. However, the Spirit of God, when we started to pray, inspired us to pray and declare the original intent with which or for what, for what the institution was founded to come forth. It's like redigging the well. <clears throat> or it is the well which was there, which was bringing out the springs of water, feeding many people, influencing the whole world with the word of God, now being covered with mud and uh, uh, so many dirt. That is one of the visions I had in, in, uh, in one of the institution. That that the whole thing is covered by dirt and leaves, dry leaves. And the original purpose for which it was founded, the foundation is hidden. So that was the condition. So today we are very excited because what is happening in the world's number one university, Harvard University, within that campus, Few months ago, we were discouraged when we heard who became the chaplain of that institute. No, that is in the outward. But Lord does his work underground, inside. He goes to the root and he wants to rekindle the fire, revive the fire, revive the hearts and minds of the people who are dedicated in that, staff members and students. So I'm going to present an interesting video clip 
which was in the CBN channel just two days ago for your encouragement so that you will have to continue to pray for the revival of uh, this great Ivy League colleges and other institution. When we are in the midst of an education institution, a small school in which should have take, took place and um, children have lost their lives. And parents, you are shaken. You are shaken in the midst of all this happening. So when you desire your children have to go to your great college like Harvard, what do you desire to be happening over there? You can start praying after listening to what I'm sharing with you. So I'm going to share screen. First, I'd like to show you how the Lord led us into this institution and uh, what did we pray with three leaders, John Bunn, Jeff Willard, and myself. So I'm going to play that prayer first. Okay, you have to hold on for a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to pause for a minute. <clears throat> You were here and they found that you were here in these first students. You were the desire to know you, to be known by you, to be educated in truth. It's on the gate right now, the truth. You are truth. You're living truth. You are the only truth. You're the only way they knew that. They established this university on truth. Lord, to teach theological truth. Yes. To educate men and women for your glory, Lord, that they would not be illiterate of you and left in the dust. Lord, you have called us here yes. to put them on notice, yes. to return to their foundation, yes. to return to you. So, Lord, we lift your great name, we exalt you. We declare thy will, thy will, thy will. Yes. Thy will is your kingdom. Yes. Thy will is your desire. Yes. Harvard University. Right now, you are being issued a notice to return yeah. to yeah. the king. Yeah. Return to the king. Return to your biblical, godly foundations. Yes, foundation. To promote truth, to teach truth. It would be wise of you to hear the word of the Lord. Turn to the maker. Turn to the redeemer. Turn to the blessed Lord. Exalt his name. Yes. Seek, follow, do his will. <coughs> To cease and desist immediately of teaching things that draw the young ones off course. Expel the radicalism of the yeah. deception and the lie and the wokeism and the yeah. fear of man. Every fear but fear of you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we call back the fear of the Lord. Yes. Harvard, that you shall delight in the fear of the Lord, lest you perish. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Your endowment does not ensure your continuation. Turn to the Lord, lest you be snuffed out. Only light prevails, and you are not walking in it. Be salt, be light. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Whether you turn or not, we loose. Yes. The will of the Lord God Jehovah. He is marching on. His truth is marching on. 
whether you turn or not. He is the king. He is the lawgiver. He is the judge. He set the sun, the stars, and the moon in motion. Yeah. He said, let there be, and there was, all that we see. Yes. Yes. Every mystery you think you have discovered, he created. Mm -hmm. You have exalted your intellect, your own humanism, above the mind, the will, and the knowledge of the Lord God. Repent in Jesus' name. We cry out for mercy for you. Mercy, mercy. But you must cooperate with the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So this statement is from the Harvard Graduate School of Arts and Science here at Harvard. And it's a group of masters doctorate and postdoctorate fellows and it said harvard university was founded in 1636 with the intention of establishing a school to train christian ministers in accordance with that vision harvard's rules and precepts were was adopted in 1646 and it stated let every student be plainly instructed and earnestly pressed to consider well the main end of his life and studies is to know God and Jesus Christ, which is eternal life, John 17, 3. And therefore to lay Christ at the bottom as the only foundation of all sound knowledge and learning. And seeing the Lord only giveth wisdom, let everyone seriously set himself by prayer in secret to seek it of him, Proverbs 2, 3. Everyone shall also exercise himself in reading the scriptures twice a day, that he shall be ready to give such an account of his proficiency therein, both in theological observations of language and logic, and in practical and spiritual truths, and his tutor shall require according to his ability, seeing the entrance of the word giveth light, it giveth understanding to the simple, Psalm 119, 130. The motto of the university adopted in 1692 was Christos, was, was Veritas Christo et Ecclesiae which translated from Latin means truth for Christ and the church. This phrase was embedded on shields and can be found on many buildings around campus, including the Widener Library, Memorial Church, and various dorms in Harvard Yard. Increasingly, the top two books on the shield are face, interestingly, the top two books on the shield are face up, while the bottom book is face down. This symbolizes the limits of reason and the need for God's revelation with the secularization of the school. The current shield now only contains the word veritas with all three books open. Yeah. Lord, we just, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Strong. Call them back. We call them back to be in it's true. You being elevated above human reason, Jesus. Jesus, we call the school right now, sitting in this yard, over top of these roots. God, we call forth the original root in Harvard. We call forth the prayers that were prayed when this ground was dedicated. Yes, yes. We call forth the vision that was in the heart of the founders of this school. Are you ready? We call forth, Lord, the destiny of Harvard. It has been hijacked, and we say it will no longer be kept in the hands of the enemy. Lord Jesus, we ask you. To raise up those, raise up those like this student organization, these Christian students, God, raise them up, not just to do research and not, not just uh, to preach.
pray, but God to evangelize mm. and to uh, hold symposiums yeah. and to hold lectures and to do all the things that graduate yes. and postgraduate students do yes. in order, Lord, to uh, bring the school back to truth, raise up those who, uh, who are proficient, yes. proficient, 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 God, in the word. Raise up those who know how to communicate it with excellence. Raise up those of intellect whose intellect are surrendered to you, but who have a reputation in this campus of being someone to listen to. Yes, yes. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. Oh, God. So clearly mentioned that the whole institution was founded for knowing the truth with yeah. the revelation from the wisdom of Lord Jesus Christ yeah. and the Bible. For the sake of Christ and the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, it is so very clear. And so, God, you have given this statement. So, Lord, we pray before you. We come to you, God. Oh, God, how can this be secularized? I have brought up so much secular views. Yes. And taking out that for the sake of uh, Christ and the church. Oh, Lord. Just taking you away. Yeah, uh, legend is an institution. Although it is top most to Lord, because the foundation it was on you, it yeah. reached that top thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, oh Lord, with all this pollution, the, 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 the God impurity that has come inside of the science, yes. they think is different from you. Science is from the Bible. Science, everything is in your word of God. There is nothing that comes from outside. Whatever comes from outside is filth. It is for man's reasoning. That's why man's reasoning has to be out. It is so clearly stated in the statement. How man's reasoning has to be surrendered to you for your revelation. And so, God, this day, as we are seated here, and we have come all the way because you directed us, and we have come to reclaim the foundation. Yes. Reclaim the foundation and bring it out. Oh Lord, we take authority. We, we definitely, because, oh God, we having authority to do that, we do it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Lord, it is not that... <laughs> we are not educated. We are educated. So, Lord, we know that we have authority to remove what man's knowledge cannot do. Yes, yes, yes. It is only yours, O oh God. Yours, that knowledge which comes from you, the wisdom comes from you. We take authority, you got to move. All that has come and covered the foundation. We want to read it. We want to see the foundation coming out. Coming up, oh God, you bring such a revival over here that they will, <coughs> oh Lord, such an awakening you has to come that they will, the, all the man's building, altar of man has to fall down and your altar has to rise up. You said you are going to raise up the altar. I am raising up the altar, you said, oh God. That's for whole America. It is not only for this particular thing, oh God, it is for whole America. That's the assurance that's the thing that you gave although God it started from the courthouse the vision but we truly believe altar you are rising it up so Lord we want to continue to declare we want to continue to pray we want to continue to seek continue to declare and decree that the foundation the altar of God will rise up yes will rise up. In yes Jesus name yes God re the first prayer was by Jeff Willard, and then was John Munn, and then thirdly, myself. So you would have felt that how much we were burdened. We were filled with that, with that, you know, heaviness uh, of the surroundings or how the Institute has become. And at the same time, with an assurance 
we called out, proclaimed, declared that the foundation will be reclaimed or it will be visible. Christ will be again the cornerstone and the foundation for this institute. And it should not be all this filth which has covered, man's reasoning which has covered should go away. We prayed and came out. It's not because we prayed something happened, beloved. I want to now play to you the latest news that we happen to watch in the CBN uh, news channel. Very interesting. And it gave such an encouragement to me. And so I want to share with you. So I'm going here to, uh, you know, I need to share the screen. So it has to, I think, I always, Go like this, and I go like this, and uh, yes, uh, this is about the orphanage situation. In uh, now, this is CBN's uh, children's ministry in Africa. So here comes our uh, next, oh, where is the sound? Just a minute, please. <clears throat> Spirit. It's not at a church or spiritual retreat. It's all happening at Harvard University's law school. CBN's Mark Martin brings us that story from Cambridge, Massachusetts. We pray all of us in Jesus, amen. On a Tuesday night at Harvard Law School, you might expect to see study groups involving case law or researching legal precedents. These students, however, are studying the Bible. First year law student Matt Chun says he was pleasantly surprised to learn how vibrant the Christian community is here. It's been incredibly encouraging for me uh, being involved with Christian Union, small groups, uh, and even going to church with my classmates um, and going to prayer in the mornings. Uh, it seems like there's Christian programming almost every day and tons of ways to get plugged in and involved. As a ministry director for the organization Christian Union, Justin Yim leads the Bible study. We know that God is not dead at Harvard, and uh, we see God moving God. powerfully. And we sense, if you speak to some of the other campus ministers on campus and some of the students, there's something happening underneath. Third-year law student Chrissy Anunziata says she expected it to be tough as a Christian here, yet found her faith flourishing after seeing Jesus move in so many ways. I've seen people come to Christ. I've seen, um, you know, people receiving the Holy Spirit, and I've seen healings. I mean, and it's just incredible to me, like, the community that is here, because it's not just the law students when we host events. I mean, we have people coming across the different masters and doctoral programs across the campus, and a lot of them in the science fields, engineering, computer science, things like that. Third-year law student Mariana Marquez and her husband Jacob Hawkins, a Harvard Kennedy School of Government grad, started a weekly Miracles, Signs, and Wonders workshop. They say participants have witnessed the miraculous. At the end, he, he was like, oh, well, I don't know if I can ask this, but um, I have one leg that is shorter than the other, and I have back pain and all of that. And uh, so he asked for prayer, and um, we had a student in, in the workshop just pray and command that leg to come even out in the name of Jesus. And we all literally saw it as he was commanding the leg to grow out in the name of Jesus. It was growing out and it just evened out. We've seen Jesus cast out demons out of people. And, you know, we've been, we've been participating, right? We've been saying in the name of Jesus, get out. Um, we've seen demons leave. We've seen people being freed from anxiety. We've seen someone with a, a really bad jaw, uh, like a locked jaw. Um, Jesus like healed, healed her jaw. We're gathering together across ministries, uh, across the graduate schools, coming together, worshiping together, praying together, and we're all pressing in for the same thing. We want, we want to see Christ lifted high and exalted, and we want to see revival on, on the campus. Yim says the Christian presence is not out of character here. 
when you think about the history of Harvard University in and of itself, that it started out as a place where, um, you know, men were trained for the Christian ministry, right? So it is harkening back to its original roots. So we know that God has worked here before, and we know that God is working. Christians at Harvard Law School can also find support through the program on biblical law and Christian legal studies. The office is located in the building behind me, and according to its website, the program integrates law, leadership, and life, built on a foundation of biblical wisdom and truth. It's that combination of, of teaching and scholarship and also building up um, and discipleship of, of believers who are here. Um, it's just been very encouraging. We can't clearly get a full picture understanding of the law without understanding the biblical principles behind it. The intersection of Christianity and the law is just so important. Um, it's a field that needs to be explored. And I think, um, I think it's amazing to have that resource here on campus. And for Christians considering a legal education here, Anunziata offers words of encouragement. If that is what you feel like God wants you to do, um, you should just know that there are people here who will support you. There are professors here who will pray with you. There are students here who will be with you through all the struggles. Mark Martin, CBN News. So God, God is not dead, beloved. He's alive as they declared. So our prayers don't go waste. God listens to the prayers. How many parents would have really sought God so that in Harvard, the Holy Spirit might be again seen, uh, poured out. You, you know, the promise of God is there in the last days. He shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh. When I visited along with our two brothers, every institute, I was very much to pray for, O oh Lord, in the last days, when you said you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and young men, young women, dream dreams or see visions. And that is what, beloved, just now we heard the testimony. So do not be discouraged. Continue to do it. I want, I want to share something more because when we uh, were, when we completed our, uh, <coughs> sorry, I am in share screen, I always find out. Okay, and now let me go. I think I need to release this. And then, uh, uh, okay. Now this is where, what I wanted to share with you. When we had uh, almost completed our going through all the 31 states, finally the Lord impressed us in my spirit and in other spirit, five distinct convictions and uh, directions so that as we are expecting the great awakening that is to come, the revival to come, the Lord said these five points, commission the African-American revival initiative, commission the Native American revival initiative, and the third and the fifth, commission the immigrants in America revival institute. You saw in the CBN, news out of many students, almost 60 or 70% of them are, you know, they were all the immigrant students living here, just like I'm, I'm an immigrant here. And so there is a revival initiative and they have come and stirred, you know, when, when Koreans come, when Chinese believers come into this country, wherever they are, they are stirring up. They are stirring up the men of God and, uh, and the Holy Spirit is being poured and in the prayer meetings, all that two students expressed uh, or three students expressed how they see what all had been mentioned in the Great Commission, casting out demons, healing the sick and uh, set the people free and Christ-centered or discipleship. Everything again is happening in that institute. So that is the final global apostolic transformation the Lord would do. So we are following up with all these five uh, uh, convictions and we want to see how the Lord is going to really um, do similar work in other universities too, 
in Cornell University, I heard a news which I have not yet got the clip to present to you. But all I'm encouraging, beloved, while closing is that do not give up, do not think that God is not at work. God is at work. God hears our prayers, whatever you declare, believing in the Lord. And you know, that mission was a special mission for us in 30 states to declare some of the things. I have already um, put in three clips in which what all the Lord uh, caused us to pray or led us to pray, how they came through. Virginia flipping was one of the main thing. Native Americans revival second, African American revival third, and now Harvard University getting revived. So let us continue to pray and encourage one another uh, for uh, the Lord to bring that great revival in this country. Amen. And